ancient engineers built impossible pyramids 4,500 years ago. Deep within the ancient pyramid, a secret laid buried for over 4,500 years, shrouded in mystery and darkness. Researchers desperate to unveil its truth sent a robotic camera to explore the depths of the pyramid. As the camera climbed higher and higher, it suddenly came to a stop. A massive stone slab blocked its path. The researchers knew this was no ordinary slab. It had been placed there deliberately to conceal the secrets that lay beyond. They had to know what was hidden beneath it, no matter the cost. With determination and fierce curiosity, they installed a drill machine and made a tiny hole in the stone slab. A camera was sent in to investigate, and what it captured was beyond anything they could have imagined. A scene frozen in time for millennia was finally revealed. A sight that no human had seen for over 4,500 years. Deep in the land of Egypt, there stand 38 towering pyramids that have withstood countless earthquakes and vicious storms for thousands of years. But among them, one reigns supreme, the Great Pyramid of Giza, the largest and most majestic of them all. What lies within this ancient wonder? Surprisingly, it can fit not one or two, but an astonishing nine football fields. The pyramid is constructed by a staggering 23 million large stones, some of which weigh an incredible 50 tons. Its estimated weight of 600,000 tons equals the weight of 12 Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. But why were these pyramids built? What was their ultimate purpose? And how did ancient humans without the aid of advanced tools manage to level the walls inch by inch and cut these massive stones into perfect squares? The most baffling of all is how these ancient engineers raised these colossal stones to a height of 480 feet without the aid of cranes. And who were these engineers who created these marvels to be earthquake proof? You will all know in today's video, so let's begin. Challenge number one. For centuries, the pyramids of Egypt have towered above the sands, a source of mystery and fascination for all who gaze upon them. And for just as long, researchers have been working tirelessly to unlock their secrets. One of the most perplexing puzzles has been how the architects of the time managed to align each side of the pyramid with the cardinal directions of north, south, east, and west without the aid of modern technology. It seemed an insurmountable task. But now, after years of study and collaboration, a possible solution has been uncovered. It is believed that the architects may have utilized a special type of land, one that could bear the weight of the massive stones that make up the pyramids. With the foundation established, the architects turned their gaze to the stars. Without compasses or advanced tools, they looked to the positions of certain stars known as baller stars, to guide them in setting each side of the pyramid in its proper direction. And with zero errors, each side was set precisely to the four corners of the north. It was an incredible feat of engineering and astronomical knowledge, a testament to the ingenuity of ancient civilizations. But the mysteries of the pyramid do not end there. What was their true purpose? Were they simply tombs for pharaohs, or did they serve some other, more mysterious function? Let us find out. Challenge number two presented an ominous task of leveling the land on 13 acres of unforgiven terrain. Any slight deviation would result in the need of two to three lock stones to stabilize the unstable earth. It seemed like an insurmountable feat, as the engineers of the time did not have access to modern-day tools such as laser levelers or bubble levels. So how did they do it? Experts believe that the construction site was meticulously dug from all sides, and water was poured into each of the four sides. The water level on one side was then compared to the level of the water on the other three sides to ensure consistency. To rectify the unevenness, the land was manipulated using a simple yet effective tool, a wooden instrument with a stone attached to a rope. If the stone touched the ground and its rope remained taut, it meant that the land was level. 
Many experts also speculate that the ancient builders used sugar and hammers to adjust the land to the desired level. The task was daunting, but the ancient builders possessed a mastery that left us in awe. Challenge number three. The directions were set for the construction site of the paramedics and markings were made on the ground level. It was now time to start construction, for which they required heavy and large stones weighing thousands of tons. However, they did not have pass grinders or jackhammers to cut these stones. Despite this, they managed to cut stones weighing 50 tons into square or rectangular shapes. But how did they do it without proper tools? The only tool they used to cut the stones was a chisel, the same tool used by experts in the construction of the pyramids. It is believed that the chisel was not made solely of copper, as experts know that copper is too soft to cut stone. Therefore, a chemical called arsenic was added to it. The copper arsenic chisel was hammered into stones with wooden hammers, and after many hours of labor, the large stones were brought into shape. Challenge number four. This is about a special type of stone called limestone, which was harvested from the city of Torah, located 250 kilometers away from the Giza Pyramid's construction site. The problem was how to transport these stones to Giza. Each stone weighed 50 tons, which is approximately equal to the weight of a three-passenger bus. Two million such stones were required for one pyramid alone. During that time, no animal or truck was capable of transporting such a heavyweight item. Even in today's modern era, transport companies would face tough challenges if tasked with this job. However, the work was done with the help of workers and boats. The river between Torah and Giza was used to transport the stones. The stones were loaded onto large boats and transported to the pyramid site. Experts believe that this task was not easy, as any army of at least 500 workers was required to load and unload such large stones simultaneously. Challenges number five. This was quite a daunting task for the team of experts who were researching the construction of the pyramid. They had finally found answers to many of their questions, but there was one issue that kept nagging them how were massive limestone blocks transported to such great heights? It was clear that the transport of these stones was meticulously planned well before the actual construction of the pyramid began. The stones were cut and transported to the site, ready to be laid on top of the other. But the question of how they were moved to such a height remained a mystery. Some experts speculate that a spiral track or zigzag path was used to transport the blocks, but there is no concrete evidence to support these theories. What is certain, however, is that an army of workers must have pulled up to 50,000 kilograms of stone using sheer manpower. Challenge number six. This was not just about millions of workers cutting limestone with chisel hammers and transporting huge stones to build the pyramid. The real marvel laid in the complex compartments within the pyramid and the way they were constructed. In addition to the massive stones, small tunnels were also built, which added to the complexity of the construction process. While everyone else was in line with the experts' expectations, one thing caught their attention. The inner compartments were not made of limestone, but of granite. Granite is considered to be one of the hardest stones in the world, second only to diamond. Even in today's modern era, cutting granite without the aid of big grinders is next to impossible. Hence, the use of granite in ancient Egypt's architecture was a mystery that puzzled archaeologists and experts from around the world. No one had ever found evidence of how the ancient Egyptians were able to cut such solid granite so cleanly 4,500 years ago. It was a mystery that took many years to solve. Finally, after years of research and analysis, experts were able to uncover the secret of how the Egyptians cut granite with such precision. It turned out that ancient Egyptians used a saw that had no teeth. Yes, you heard that right, a toothless saw. This saw was driven on granite by placing weights on both sides and placing gravel in the middle. This technique allowed them to cut the granite so neatly that the joints between the stones were practically invisible. 
experts estimate that it took around four months to cut a big granite stone using this method. What was the purpose of creating the pyramids after all? How many workers were working at the time to make these massive structures? Moreover, when the robotic camera made a hole in the stone lab inside the pyramid, what seen was seen inside it that no one had seen for the last 4,500 years. You will learn more about this in part two of the video. Are you ready to dive deeper into the fascinating world of this topic? In part two of the video, you'll discover even more secrets and insights that will leave you on the edge of your seat. Don't miss out on this opportunity to expand your knowledge and satisfy your curiosity. Trust us, you won't regret tuning in for the next exciting part of the video. So keep those supportive comments and likes coming and join us for the unforgettable journey in the second part of the video. We can't wait to see you there.